ma'am. Answer in the answer in the chat box. So that I will take up the session accordingly. Okay. So a lot of people are there from twenty twenty one batch. Okay. So uh, are you guys aware of what the uh, Google Developer Experience Club is? Not more. So the session, uh, make the session as an interactive session. Uh, you can uh, unmute yourself and you can speak up uh, whenever uh, some questions are, was asked. And uh, also in between the session, if you have any query related to the program, uh, you can comment in the chat box and uh, uh, I will take up, I will take all that uh, attempt. Okay. So let me present my screen. Uh, please confirm uh, if it is visible or not. So not visible, ma'am. Okay, okay. I'm presenting. So hold on guys, I will be sharing something really welcoming opportunity to you all. As you guys, as most of you are in the first year, uh, if you will take up this opportunity, it will be really, really beneficial to you. So is my screen visible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma'am. It's visible. Yes, ma okay. Welcome everyone. So the agenda of today's session is to discuss upon the solution challenge 20. Are, what is this? Wait. Yeah. So the agenda of today today's session is to uh, discuss upon the solution challenge 2022. So uh, before going to the main uh, uh, part, as many of you are from 2021, you don't have any idea about what GDSA is and what are its what are the benefits of having GDSA in our college. So let me take first a brief introduction uh, about Google Developer Student Club. Okay. So after getting selected uh, to be a Google Developer Student Club lead. Uh, for the session 2021 to 2022, I uh, gained the fortunate to establish Google Developer Student Club in our college. So what it is and what are its benefits? So Google Developer Student Club are community groups for community groups for college and university students interested in Google Developer Technologies. So uh, being monitored by DSC Global, Google Dev there are uh, more than 1250 uh, Google Developer Student Clubs all around the globe. And uh, uh, being a part of this club, all the students would, gain, would have the fortunate or would, would be eligible to participate in any of the events organized by DSC Global which is mainly focused on Google developer, learning Google developer technologies. So far, uh, we have conducted two sessions. One is 30 days of Google Cloud program, which was conducted uh, between October 2021 to November 21, a month long workshop, where 
81 plus students have completed the program successfully out of 140 plus registration okay and the students who have completed the program successfully has got certificates badges and goodies from the google cloud itself our second program is android study jam which was conducted between jan 22 to feb uh, jan 22 to feb 22 and uh, uh, there are also uh, the poster is mentioning all the winners of that event and uh, as a result they uh, they will be getting certificates and goodies from google developers itself okay so till now uh, google developer student club vit sindri has conducted two events and the solution challenge 2022 is its third event it is more like a hackathon so uh, let us discuss in brief what solution challenge 2022 is and what it has to offer to the participants okay so google developer student club 2022 solution challenge mission is to solve for one of the united nations 17 sustainable development goals using google technology so as i have said that the solution challenge is a hackathon can't kind see of the screen. Oh, uh, sorry any problem ma'am we can't see the screen are you sharing your screen yes i am sharing it no one am i not visible ma'am not visible ma'am okay so okay let me shut out the issues what is it you must have told that problem in the beginning okay no problem is it visible now yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so i have to repeat all that once again or uh, i have to move forward you repeat ma'am move please. forward okay let me take a brief look at all okay so uh google developer student club are community groups for college and university students interested in google developer technologies so being monitored by dsc global it has a uh, google developer student club is established among 106 countries a total of 106 countries all over the globe and it has 1200 1250 plus communities established till yet so what uh, are the benefits of having a gdsc in any of the college many of the events or almost all the events organized by dsc global dsc global is a community is a global community which organize events related to google technologies and uh, those events uh, only uh, the students who belongs to a college where there is a gdsc are able to participate in those events so uh, after getting selected as a gdsc lead for the session 2021 to 2022 i uh, gained the fortunate to establish google developer student club in our college okay so after its establishment in our college the students of our college are eligible to participate in any of the event or workshops or many of the sessions uh, conducted by DSC Global. So till now we have conducted two events. Okay, one is 30 days of Google Cloud uh, that was conducted between October 2021 to November 2021, and. Uh, uh, more than 140 students have registered to it and more than 81 students have completed the track involved in the program and hence eligible for the certification badges and the goodies from the google cloud itself and our second event is android study jam 
which was conducted between January 2022 to February 2022. And uh, here is the list of winners who have successfully completed the program. And they also be uh, they will also be getting certification badges and uh, amazing goodies from the side of DSC Global. Okay, so uh, coming to the agenda of today's session, that is solution mm -hmm. challenge. So, so Google Developer Student Club BIT Sindri is here with yet another and the most welcoming opportunity that, that is the solution challenge 2022. So what it is all about and what are the benefits that the participant would get by uh, participating in this challenge. So solution challenge is more like uh, a hackathon. Okay, you will be provided with uh, uh, certain problems uh, which will be based on United Nations 17 sustainable development goals and you have to go through the problem you have to study the problems that the people are facing under each development goals and uh, uh, you have to think upon it and uh, uh, come up with an idea and then after after getting uh, after the ideation phase you have to present your solution or your your idea you have to turn your idea into a software solution using google developer technologies so what are United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals? So uh, to clarify this, uh, let us view this video first. Okay, and then I will uh, then I will tell you uh, more on it. Okay. So please confirm if it is audible or visible to you all. At the yes, beginning. Audible, visible. Yes, ma'am. So watch it. Okay, so the video presents all the 17 sustainable development goals. United Nations has categorized, uh, has listed 17 sustainable development goals. Okay, and uh, under this broad category, people are facing a lot of problems. Okay, and uh, uh, you have to come up with a solution uh, that solves the problems face, uh, faced by the uh, which solve the problem faced by the people under that development goals so uh, how to uh, register in it in the just uh, look up just uh, look up on the details like how to register in it and all that so uh, what are the prizes first so if uh, your hack or your solution will be accepted by the uh, DSC Global DSC, uh, DSC Global panel team, if you secure under top 50, under, if you secure the position under top 50 teams, you will receive customized mentorship from Googlers and expert to take solution to the next level, a branded t-shirt and a certificate. If you will score, uh, if you will uh, score a position under top ten finalists, you will receive additional mentorship, a swag box, and the opportunity to showcase 
solution to Googlers and developers all around the world at Demo Day Live on YouTube. Okay. And if you will score under top three winners, means if your hat will be listed under top three, then in addition to the swag box, each individual from the top three winning teams will receive a cash prize of dollar three thousand and a feature on the Google Developer blog. Okay, so these are the prizes uh, which will uh, which will create a sense of uh, uh, which will boost your uh, uh, participation. Okay, so how to participate in it? Let us first discuss the judging criteria. So uh, during the development of your hat or the solution, you have to uh, you have to think upon certain criteria while building up your solution. Okay. So what are these points which will help you uh, score position under top fifty, top ten, top three? So here are some points. Okay. So uh, the first point is: Does the entry establish a clear challenge focused on one or more of the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals? Your hack should be solving uh, one or more of the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Challenges. Okay. Second point is: How effectively does the solution address the challenge identified by the team? Okay, so under the 17 sustainable development goals, this is the major, uh, this is the broad category. And if you will go deep dive, uh, if you will deep dive into these categories, you will see a lot of problem faced by people these days under that broad categories. And you have to solve for that particular problem by uh, uh, brainstorming idea by uh, after discussion uh, after discussing it with your teammates. Okay, so second point is relevant to that. You must solve for the problems faced by the people under uh, the 17 sustainable development challenges. Is there uh, is there evidence of next step? So here comes the inter here comes the idea of starting your own business or a startup. Okay, so uh, is there evidence of a next step? Does the team display a plan for future extension if they were to continue? Take this opportunity as this opportunity uh, provides you to set up your own business. If your idea gets selected under the top 50 or top 10 or top 3 team, you will get mentorship from Googlers. Okay. And uh, you, will get, uh, you will gain the opportunity to take up your idea to the next stage. So your idea must uh, be such like that, uh, which has its future scope also. If you will get mentorship from Googlers, uh, your idea must sustain in regards with future scope. Okay. So third point is regarding that. Is there evidence that the solution has been thoroughly tested with real users? So uh, as I have said that after the ideation round, you have to you have to uh, you have to uh, present your idea in the form of software solution, and that software solution would would be made using Google technologies. Okay, I will discuss more of, uh, more on it. So fourth point is relevant to that. Fourth point is considering your software solution that. Uh, whether your idea, whether your idea is able to solve the real world problem on real world basis, on a practical basis, is there evidence that the solution was uh, iterated upon based on users' feedback? So these are the points uh, which on which you uh, your hack will get uh, you your hack will get points. Okay, that is the impact and. 40 points you will be getting on technology. So as I have said that you have to uh, build your hack. You have to turn your idea into a software solution using Google technologies. So what technology you have used, how advanced it is, uh, how uh, you are using the technologies uh, in a meaningful way into your app to uh, 
to uh, to pro, uh, to provide your uh, idea wings so uh, uh, 40 points will would depend on that that like what technologies you have inculcated in your project okay so this is the judging criteria coming to next so what is the timeline and how one can participate in it so first uh, is the getting started phase here uh, note as i have said at the beginning that these uh, these the solution challenge 2020 this solution challenge uh, is being organized by dsc global and not everyone is eligible to participate in it only those students would be able to participate uh, who are a part of college where google developer student club exist okay so first you have to join google developer student club okay and after after that you have to register you have to register for the solution challenge uh, visiting this link okay why i am saying that you have to join first uh, the google developer student club let us visit this link first is my form visible to you all yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am okay so uh, see here it is asking for are you a part of google uh, developer student club at your own university or you are joining the nearest one so if you are part of pit sindri you can you will have to tick yes the gdsc that i am part of is at my university and if you are of other college then you have to join our gdsc first and you have to tick this option that is no i am joining the nearest gdsc to my university okay just i'm clearing the doubts that the uh, that uh, i use uh, that that i took before that's why i'm organizing this session which technology are you interested to learn about or plan to utilize in your project so according to your idea or uh, according to your idea or what are the technologies that you will be going to use you can choose uh, whatever relevant option okay and uh, if you are not sure about it uh, then uh, uh, you can tick all of it or uh, just tick all of it and move ahead okay which united nation 17 sustainable development goals are you interested in so uh, while the registration uh, phase if you are not sure about which uh, united nation sustainable development goals are you interested in then uh, you have you can uh, choose not sure yet okay and uh, at this time how confident you feel uh, you can uh, solve uh, you can answer this question uh, according to your experience describe the reason for your answer this is yeah so this is all about that i have to show you so coming to the point coming to the next point after getting registered so note that uh, a team can have at max four members and admin two members okay so all of your teammates uh, please ensure that all of your teammates has registered to uh, this uh, uh, solution challenge else uh, it may cause uh, problems uh, by the end okay so after getting registered after all your teammates get uh, get registered to this event form a team okay select a you know select the united nation 17 sustainable development goal and after selecting that goal you have to uh, you have to search on the problems faced by people in that under that development goal and then you have to think upon uh, we have to you have to think on it and you have to create your own solutions or the ideas discussing it with your teammates and after it you have to uh, convert your idea into a software solution okay so that is all about the design and build and the submission and judging so what is the how um, after uh, after creating the software solution how you gonna submit your solution okay so record a demo video and submit by march 31st you have to submit your hack by march 31st 2022 okay top 50 solution allow uh, will be announced in mid april top 50 mentoring will be provided in may top 10 finalists announced in june 
एंड टॉप थ्री विनर्स अनाउंस्ड लाइव ऑन यूट्यूब जुलाई में होगा ये ठीक है सेलिब्रेट ऑल द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सोल्यूशन चैलेंज पार्टिसिपेंट सो दिस दिस इज द टाइम लाइन दैट दिस सोल्यूशन चैलेंज फॉलो ओके सो इफ आई एम नॉट क्लियर येट yeah please hello ma'am we have to learn back end on uh, front end development uh deepak take uh, your question uh, i will take uh, to the end okay and if you if you think if you are thinking that you will forget your question just write it in the comment box and i will take uh, all the all that question at the end okay okay ma'am yeah so uh, coming back so if you think i am not clear yet okay so here uh, i have made certain videos or i have collected certain videos okay so that will give a more clear idea of on solution challenge how to pick a problem how to uh, how to how to uh, view the problems faced by people all all are listed under the solution challenge solutions all are listed under the solution challenge website okay so uh, these videos will demonstrate that uh, what the solution challenge is how to brainstorm upon the ideas and how to turn your ideas into a solution so let us view these videos one by one uh, please uh, patiently watch these videos as these videos will guide you uh, in a more clear sense okay so i'm presenting the first video that will guide you about what solution challenge is exactly and uh, what it will going to serve you all okay so is it visible So have you all watched the video? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Have you got some ideas on what to do and what how to move? So this video is basically about what solution challenge is, what are its uh, development goals on which you can generate your hacks on. Now uh Uh, as a first uh, uh, as a beginner uh, you have uh, uh, you you will have an issue uh, discovering problems uh, turning uh, uh, that problem into an ideation phase and uh, after that uh, turning that ideation phase into a practical implementation so watch this video how you can uh, how you can find uh, a uh, suitable problem according to your uh, capability or according to your entrepreneur entrepreneurial mindset and uh, then after how uh, uh, you can turn uh, how you can turn uh, the how you can turn the problems into a uh, solution watch this video you will get more understanding hi everyone The mission of this year's Google Developer Student Club Solution Challenge is to solve for one or more of the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals using Google Technologies.
Citing the official United Nations website, these goals are the blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. They address the global challenges we face, including poverty, inequality, climate change, environmental degradation, peace, and justice. During this video, I will show you how you can research these goals and brainstorm ideas for your Solution Challenge project. So starting with the official UN SDG site, the first thing I suggest you do is click on each of the goals and read the challenges each goal faces. For example, goal one, no poverty. This page will give you a good primer to the challenges we face on our road to no poverty. And down at the bottom of the page, you can take a look at the facts and figures and the breakdown of targets defined for each goal. There's also an infographic you can check out to get a high level overview of the current state of things as it relates to the specific goal. Go over the rest of the goals to get familiarized with them and see if any ideas come to mind about solutions you can build using technology. If ideas do arise, write them down to brainstorm further later. Another great site that can really help you generate solution ideas is DIAL, which stands for Digital Impact Alliance. We're going to focus on two tabs, SDGs and the building blocks, but I urge you to look at the other tab. They're just as useful for your ideation stage. Okay, so let's look at the SDGs tab and take a look at goal two, zero hunger. This goal has eight targets, which help you focus on solving a certain aspect of the goal. For example, target one, which summarizes as end hunger by ensuring access by all people to good, healthy food all year round. Okay, so immediately ideas start to spark. Maybe you can build a charity app that either accepts donation-safe healthy food or accepts monetary donations dedicated to providing food. Or maybe you can build a volunteering platform that brings people together to help the community at risk. Brainstorm with your team and see what aspects of these problems you are familiar with. Or maybe you have access to communities who are dealing with the challenge. Having personal knowledge of a problem will allow you to design solutions which are far more effective and easier to adopt. Now. Let's take a look at goal 10, reduce inequality. Target one, achieve and sustain income growth for the bottom 40% of the population at a rate higher than the national average. What a well-defined target. Okay, so now you can start brainstorming again on how you can achieve progress through technology here. Maybe you can build an app or a platform that educates people on financial and saving strategies. Or maybe you can help small businesses grow through education apps or e-commerce and marketing apps that are specific to your community. For example, in my community, the elderly struggle with finding online educational content, and I might consider building an elderly-friendly educational platform. This platform can potentially provide the elderly with equal opportunities with learning new skills and increasing their income. You'll see that going through these web pages will spark many ideas in your mind. Write them down and discuss them with your team. See which idea really strikes a chord with your ability and your belief. You'll be working on this for a while. You want to solve a goal that you are passionate about or that's really close to home. In the next video in the series, I'll be going through a demo case study. I'll pick up an idea and simulate the steps my team and I will take towards a successful demo submission. I hope the United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals inspire you to solve for your community in a meaningful way. We can't wait to see all of your demo submissions. So, hello. Have you all watched the video or... Hello. Yes, ma'am. We watched the video. Okay. Any any glimpses? Yes, ma'am. The next part. Okay. So, uh, do you want to uh, view the next video? Yes, ma'am. Like it is all about how to approach a problem, how to uh, turn the problem into ideation, how to. Uh, develop uh, solutions uh, uh, from your ideation. Let us watch it. It also. So see, as uh, uh, as more as uh, uh, means uh, 
uh, the clarity in your understanding will let you uh, let you tackle the challenge okay so that's why i'm showing these videos which will clear uh, your uh, uh, your all the misconceptions and how to uh, proceed with the this challenge so view this Hi, also everyone. i'm arma hajakan and in this video we'll go through the workflow of building a hypothetical solution for the google developer student club solution challenge video, we explored the United Nations' 17 Sustainable Development Goals and brainstormed some sample solutions we could build. In this video, we're going to pick one of the sample solutions and together we'll quickly walk through its journey to building a successful dev. One of the ideas we came up with in the previous video was to develop an elderly-friendly education platform solving for the Sustainable Development Goal number four, Quality Education. So first, I'll share my initial thoughts with my Google Developer Student Club members. I'll introduce myself and my strengths, and I'll highlight what types of talents and experience I'm looking for in my prospective team members. For example, let's say I have solid UI UX experience, but I need help when building the server side of my application, and I definitely need help leading the team and managing the project. Once I meet with the potential team members and some of us decide to join forces, it's time to do a design sprint. We do this in order to properly define the problem and then come up with possible solutions. For detailed instructions on this step, check out this video series. Once we're done with our design sprint, let's assume we've defined the problem adequately. Mobile apps can be too complicated for the elderly. The buttons are too small. And elderly users sometimes find the discovery page too complicated or find the course tutor style to be too millennial oriented or fast. Also during the design sprint, we define the solution as one, build a platform that supports the niche market of elderly education. Two, the client app should be simple to navigate and has minimal distractions like notifications or app notes. And three, course providers can produce content specifically designed for the elderly, possibly by the elderly, thus providing a revenue stream to a usually underserved demographic. Once we've confirmed it with some potential users, it's time to start designing the user interface. We'll share this load between the team members, but I'll offer to take the lead since I believe I'm good at UX and UI. I'll share my workflow and designs, and the team will go through a few hours of feedback and revisions. This stage can take a day, or it can take a week. Don't rush to implement the solution before you're confident you've designed a workflow and functionality that solves the problem you have defined. In our design, there are three user types, the learner, the helper, and the teacher. And my team members are confident we're catering for all user types in the best way considering our specific market. So it's time to design the technology. We've decided to build a progressive web app instead of spending time building both a website and a native Android app. We decided to use Firebase as a backend to serve the course content to our users. At this stage, we'll probably share our thoughts with our teacher or with the DSP lead and ask for their advice on our design and technology decisions. We'll also ask the DSP lead what workshops we should attend or what code labs we should visit, all in order to be ready for the tasks at hand. Bear in mind, this is just a quick walkthrough at this stage, so be sure to check out my videos on designing the technology or the many resources we have on the website. Next, we will spend the time to build our solution. On our team, we have a couple of members who build the progressive web app and a couple of members who build the server side, front end and back end. You might separate the tasks differently, or you might have less team members. Whatever works for you and your team is fair game. Once we have a beta version, we'll go through some user testing and we'll get feedback. We'll iterate over our code, and we'll remove any bugs that we find on the platform. Now that we're close to a great working version of our solution, one or two of our team members will start researching the pitching strategy and how we should present our solution in a demo. We'll record a video demo of our app, and finally, we'll warm up our acting chops and prepare an awesome demo, which will inspire people to use or recommend our app to the prospective demographic of users. And that's it. Wow, that was two to three months of effort compressed into three minutes. 
Obviously, I'm not suggesting that it'll be this easy or super quick to come up with a winning solution. But if you're passionate about your problem and your solution, and if you use resources provided such as workshops, hackathons, code labs, you'll have a high chance of developing a solution you will be very, very proud of. So good luck to all of you. Use the resources, and we can't wait to see the awesome solutions you'll come up with. Hope you all guys uh, get an idea on how to proceed, how to pick up a problem, how to how to uh, think upon the problem, how to solve that problem, and how to uh, create your own software solution using Google technologies. Okay. So uh, here I have listed the uh, 2021 solution challenge winners. Uh, those uh, uh, who want to get some idea, like uh, uh, what type of idea I will choose to win the uh, solution challenge or any kind of information related to the solution or uh, any kind of information related to it, you can uh, uh, go through the previous uh, hacks presented by uh, the 2021 solution challenge winners. You will get a lot of insights on uh, uh, what type of uh, problems they are building, why uh, they uh, why they uh, why they are why they get mentorship from Googlers, what uh, unique uh, they presented in their idea, and all uh, that stuff. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm saying from a long time that. Uh, you have to turn your idea into a software solution using Google technology. So what all you uh, you can use and what uh, the pa past participants have used and what uh, are their opinion on it. You can uh, build an Android app for uh, your applic uh, for for your pro for your solution. You can make a Flutter app. You can use Google Cloud Platform to implement the backend technologies. You can uh, use the Firebase also for implementation of backend technologies. You can use TensorFlow for uh, automatic machine learning and AI related things. So uh, all that, uh, all these uh, tools uh, is owned by Google and you have, and you are restricted to use the Google technologies. Okay, so you can use all these uh, Google technologies and uh, you can explore more on it. Like according to your, uh, according to your idea, what uh, technologies uh, you must have to use and what are the alternative solution that Google uh, provide to us. And you have to use that particular technology while uh, building up your solution, okay? Uh, so this is, uh, that's all. Uh, here I have listed the 2021 demo day, okay? Uh, here uh, the uh, participants, the top 50 participants has presented their idea one by one. You can watch these videos. These videos are uh, too long, almost of two to uh, three hours. So uh, I, will not, uh, I will not show uh, these videos in that session. Uh, you will uh, view these videos. I have included these videos because uh, to uh, take reference from okay and at the end, end of the session you will be provided with the a recording of the session and under the description of which you will be provided with these slides uh, where all the resource i have mentioned all the resources and uh, you can get uh, uh, at what at whatever stage if you will feel stuck you can look upon this slide and uh, can brainstorm upon the uh, problem faced by faced by you okay so uh, that is all to take uh, and uh, at last connect to us that is gdscvit sindri on socials to get regular updates uh, on the events conducted by us also gdscvit sindri uh, is conducting a flutter festival okay that the registration of which will be starting from 14th February, that is tomorrow. And uh, we will post uh, updates on it on our social. 
so uh, you can uh, follow our so- socials to get regular update and to don't miss out an, any opportunity okay so uh, one thing that i would like to mention that uh, as uh, all of you i uh, mean most of you are here uh, most of you here are from 2k21 batch if you will take up uh, this opportunity uh, at the very first year it will be a great achievement for you guys because in first year the people are not uh, uh, that much enthusiastic they think they thought that uh, first year is a, a time where uh, we can spoil it means first year is first year is the time to spoil so it is not like that do you do use this opportunity as a, uh, for the session 2021 to 2022 you guys are uh, able or uh, or are eligible to participate in solution challenge under the hood of gd under the hood of gdsc vit sindri but uh, it may possible that next year none of uh, them from our college will get uh, selected to selected as the lead to uh, run this uh, community uh, for the next session then you will not be eligible to participate in any of the event so uh, do take this opportunity and use it to the fullest okay so that's all i have to uh, say now the q and a session okay so you can ask uh, you can uh, all uh, one by one uh, unmute yourself and can ask your question is it mandatory to form a team yes uh, for the solution challenge you have to form a team a minimum of two members and a maximum of four members you can't means you can't uh, uh, do it uh, alone like uh, working in team will provide you more insights on the ideation phase also if uh, uh, google is providing opportunity if also if uh, uh, you win a position among uh, uh, top 3 winners you will be getting a dollar uh, you will be getting a cash prize of dollar 3000 to each team member so it will be beneficial to inculcate max 4 members means 4 members to your team so that uh, uh, the uh, means your uh, work should be divided and uh, you can uh, in less time you can uh, do a lot is this club is part of hncc club yes means uh, this is a separate community which is working in collaboration with hncc because i am a part of uh, hackathon and coding club uh, so uh, because of uh, the support of uh, uh, seniors uh, at uh, hackathon and coding club i able to manage to secure Uh, the position of gdsc lead and uh, after that the gdsc will work under the hood of hackathon and coding club so if you want to be a part of hackathon if you if you want to be a member of gdsc you first have to join hncc then you will be uh, uh, then you will uh, get the chance to come under the H- uh, gdsc also Okay. And we have not selected for the uh, PI and induction. So how to join HNCC other than that? Way? So you are not selected uh, for the PI of HNCC, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, so in that case, uh, see, HNCC is not uh, uh, inducting. Uh, hncc is inducting all over the year okay so whenever you uh, will build up some skills and uh, whenever you come to us uh, after uh, verifying your skills and your passion to join hncc we will induct you for sure and it's as i have said that uh, it induction will uh, will last for uh, one year whole one year so if in the first phase you are not getting selected don't uh, lose your hope as because i am i i get inducted into hncc after three rounds of pi so don't lose your hope and keep approaching okay 
okay. But ma'am, in form there there was no uh, there was no way to show our our technological skills. We have not got the call. Uh, I have filled okay. the induction form. You you will get the call. We are working on it. You will get the call soon. Don't worry. Okay, ma'am. And ma'am, yes. my first question that we have to learn the the front end and back end development to part in this. Yes, you have to. As you have to build up a solution after the ideation phase, you have to learn front end and uh, back end development. Ah, uh, see, ah, uh, that's why I said that uh, there is a necessity of teamwork. So, if ah uh, uh, you are ah uh, uh, experienced at management skill, someone else ah uh, uh, you you can take ah uh, uh, you can take that person in the in your team who are experienced in front end development. You can take some some peoples. Uh, in the team who are experienced at back end development and uh, in that way you have to proceed okay so that's why this is a this is a solution challenge uh, uh, mainly focuses on teamwork hello ah uh, yes ma'am someone was asking about the inductions so we have received so many res responses and the induction is currently going on so wait for your turn if you are capable okay. enough and uh, you have potential you will be inducted so just keep approaching hncc uh, just build up your skill and keep up approaching us whenever we feel that you have the passion to be in hncc yeah, we will induct you but uh, uh, for the one year only can we have to use front end and back end in developing solution Yes, uh, if you will, uh, if you will, uh, if you want to develop software solution that uh, it contains two major parts, that is the front end and the back end. So you must have to uh, work on it. Any more question? How many of you are feeling confident about participating in?